This is, I am Cani Reza. Welcome to Amazing Science Lessons. I am going to demonstrate an introduction to a thematic unit. And my unit is on insects. And I'm going to show you the first steps on the introduction and what a whole lesson looks like. I'm going to take you through each step very briefly and I'm going to give you a little bit of information of what children's response might be. Now, what is the first thing that we need to do to start a lesson? And that is to have a chart. Make sure you always have a chart because you want to be writing everything the children say. This will help develop their reading skills, that print awareness, letter recognition, and of course vocabulary. So let's get started. What is the very first thing to introduce a lesson? That is my novelty. Every lesson needs to have a novelty. So my next question would be, and of course, what does a novelty do? It helps the children focus. It helps them connect to the subject. And it will increase their curiosity and their interest. My next question would be is, what is this? And I would ask the children this, what is this? Ah, oh, that's a bug, or that's an insect. Some children will probably say insect. So my next step would be, is to have an outline or a picture of an insect. And this is what we're gonna be doing, a lot of our writing. Now you notice I still want children to connect to my subject. And of course our theme is insects. And I am introducing it with this one insect, even though there's many. So, what my next question is to the children, what is this? And they'll probably say, it's an insect. So let's write the word insect inside the insect. And let's spell it out. I-N-S-E-C-T. Insect. And this, this particular insect is what we call a fly. So does anybody know what type of insect this is? Some children will probably say it's an ant. So let's put it right here. This is an ant. Let's describe our insect. Let's see what this insect looks like. What do you see? It has legs, okay? So I'm gonna start writing everything children tell me. It has legs, like my insect here. Legs, okay. What else? Oh, it has a head. Okay, so let's point it to the head. H-E-A-D, head. Continue asking children from our novelty. And usually the novelty will be something that they do recognize. And uh, while we're doing our, uh, our interaction, our exploring, remember I am interacting with children. So this is a very, very interactive part of my lesson. This is a great strategy to follow. Now this leads us into the next step of my introduction. And of course this took a little bit longer than I'm taking right now. Every lesson needs to have an engagement. So for the engagement on the introduction of insects, I am going to give every child a plastic insect. So I'm gonna pass this around and let them take an insect. What I want children to do now is to be actively engaged with my lesson. So every child will hold an insect in their hand they will also hold a magnifier on the other hand. Notice how both hands are occupied. And of course, uh, a magnifier always helps children continue to explore, continue to uh, investigate. Another thing about our lessons is that we connect to the whole brain and we connect to all the lessons. Every lesson will always connect to all five senses if possible. I will introduce to the children that I want them to take an insect and I want them to hold it in their hand and I want them to observe it 
using their little hand magnifier. And as they're inner, as they're observing, I will be asking them, how does it feel? I know this is plastic, but how do the legs feel? Thin, long, uh, the body feels bumpy. So as they continue to, to, uh, to observe the insect, what I'm trying to gather here is specifically on characteristics of insects. So after they observe, and I will give them about five minutes, then I will tell them to put the little magnifier down, and let's describe an insect. And remember, every child had a different insect, so all the children will be giving me different information. What I'm gathering here is the characteristics of insects. So tell me something about the insect that you observed. Oh, it has six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, they said legs earlier. So now notice that children are being more specific. Oh, it also has a body. Okay, it has a body. I'm not giving them a lot of information right now as to how many parts an insect has because I'm just gathering a lot of the background knowledge and I'm also adding new knowledge gathered from their engagement. So body, I'm just gonna put body here. And as we continue to observe the body parts of the insect, then we will be able to break down this. But notice how basic I'm keeping the introduction. I'm just introducing insects and we're just going over the characteristics. Anything else, eyes, my insect has eyes. Okay, let's put it right here. E y e s so again what do we call this little uh, bug we call it insect so here is another word for insect and i'm going to spell it out i n s e c t insect this will take you at least 10 to 15 minutes because remember you want as much interaction as you can from the children you want them to explore with words and with uh, uh, the manipulation and the, the comprehension of the vocabulary will begin to elevate and children will become very very interested can you imagine holding an insect in their hand uh, that that will bring a lot of interaction. <clears throat> now that leads into our next discussion. This was based mainly on their observation. So when does new knowledge come in? Through our literacy. Notice that this is when I introduced my literacy. Almost at the end. So what I did first was allow children to explore First, with how much they know. Next, through an observation and engagement activity. And now finally, through literacy. Now let's see what the literacy tells us. Now let's see what print uh, resources or books tell us about insects. Let's see what else we can find out about characteristics of insects. And the reason I chose this book, Are You an Ant? is because my novelty is an ant. The whole week, or the whole two weeks that I do insects, I will be using the same novelty. The reason is because I want children to continue connecting to my very first introduction of insects. So as I go through the book, I will already have pre-selected those pages where it talks about the characteristics of insects. And we are going to read a little bit about other characteristics of, of an ant, more or less where they live, what they do. Just a brief introduction. We'll probably do a little bit of the life cycle, but very, very brief. So it's mainly going to be more characteristics than anything else about insects through the print. Now, how else can children connect? and that's through technology. 
Remember, technology brings the outside world into the world of the children. And we want them to continue exploring. So I would highly recommend, and I prompt the children, and I train them from the very beginning, to take one of these words, probably insect, type the word insect onto their keyboard and see the hundreds of insects that they will be able to see. Now again, they're now beginning to see, oh, so this is an insect also. This is an insect also. So as we continue to do the study of insects, their little minds are already aware and I've prepared them to continue studying and, their, and continuing to elevate their interest on insects. That is my goal. My goal is for them to develop that awareness, that knowledge, and also that higher order thinking. What is beyond this of what I'm doing right now? And of course, my final, final question is, tell me one thing you learned about the characteristics of insects today. Children can rename some of this again. They can rename some of the things from my aunt, but I'm giving them again the, the um, ability and the chance to share and to interact with words and uh, interact among each other and with information. This is a brief introduction on, the, on insects and I invite you to view our next video is I take you to the second day and I show you how the first day is linked onto the second day. Thank you.